King Jesus, King Jesus. Hey, okay. I want to tell you about this uh, article where Obama steps down, top general insists there will be no combat troops on the ground in the battle against ISIS as he rallies troops at an air base. The yeah, Obama met with the troops today at McDill Air Force Base in Florida. And he briefed the uh, U.S. Central Command staff. And he uh, rallied the troops, told them that American forces that had been deployed uh, to Iraq do not and will not have a combat mission. He directly contradicted the Joint Chief Chairman Martin Dipsey, who said Tuesday that uh, he would recommend ground troops if necessary. And they politically battered Obama, bumped up his leadership bona fides with the claim that even the countries that complain about America need America. Article says, uh, Barack Obama insisted Wednesday that he would not send ground troops into Iraqi combat zones to fight the ISIS terrorist army, directly contradicting his top general who said a day earlier that the president asked him for boots on the ground recommendations on a case by case basis. In a gymnasium full of servicemen and women at McDill Air Force Base in Tampa, Florida, Obama seemed also to push back against the politically battering he has taken in recent days, making broad claims of America's greatness while he is at the helm. I want to be clear, he said, the American forces that have been deployed to Iraq do not and will not have a combat mission. They will support Iraqi forces on the ground as they fight for their own country against these terrorists. As your commander in chief, Obama insisted, I will not commit you and the rest of our armed forces to fighting another ground war in Iraq. So he promises the truth. He promises the truth. They love him. They love him. The soldiers were scrambling for digital souvenirs as Obama looked took the stage Wednesday at McDill Air Force Base. They love him. He posed behind a soldier as she took a selfie before his speech in Tampa. On Tuesday, however, Joint Chief Chairman Martin Dempsey told lawmakers that circumstances on the ground could drive him to push for American combat troops to be embedded with Iraqi army units if we reach the point where I believe our advisors should accompany Iraqi troops on attacks against specific ISIL targets. Dempsey said using an alternative name for a terror group, I will recommend that to the president. When he testified before the City Armed Services Committee, that's when McCain and, and uh, Lindsey Graham was grilling him. He had to try and appease him. Said on Wednesday, Obama was single-minded, dismissing all thoughts of putting U.S. troops in the path of income and fire. American forces are currently limited to the advisory roles, which includes direct contact with Iraqi command centers. We'll use our air power Obama assured his audience of soldiers, drawing his boundaries. We will train and equip our partners. We will advise them and we will assist them. We will lead a broad coalition of countries who have a stake in this fight. So, I mean, that's, uh, that's what Obama's gonna do. He's the president, he know what he want to do. But in response, ISIS released a Hollywood style propaganda, propaganda video in response to US plans to deploy troops in Iraq, threatening the fighting 
threatening the fighting has just begun. Let me play this video for you, it's crazy. You know this you know this video was produced by Hollywood and not no uh, uh Arabs in the sand. This is Hollywood. It's produced in Hollywood. So the Jews in Hollywood produce this they go in all out these Jews to try and Get America into a war, I'm trying to terrorize you, I'm trying to terrorize you with the movies. I get real. I've been killing Americans. This is some bullshit these Jews doing, trying to get us in a war. Obama ain't gonna take us to war, so we ain't no worry. No need to worry. Bullshit.